Gotta go, George. Back in a while. George had another great idea. He'd put all his friends' prints in his new book. <laughs> friends who didn't have fingerprints. <gasps> Got a package here. Somebody needs to sign for it. Okay. Who was that, George? Oh. Oh, great. I've been waiting for this. Huh. Well, huh, huh. Uh, it's uh, something Professor Wiseman wanted me to get for the exhibit. <laughs> I, I better take it to her. Huh. Professor Wiseman? <laughs> George didn't have her prints yet. Uh, are, are you sure you want to come? It's just... Okay. There you go, George. It's an honor to be included in your big book of prints. Uh, George, excuse us for a moment. We have to check something at the... Uh, in the... over at... Uh, be right back. The man and Professor Wiseman were acting funny today. Maybe they were just nervous about the exhibit opening. That reminded George, he hadn't looked at his meteorite in days. <laughs> George's meteorite was gone. Who would have taken the meteorite when the exhibit was about to open? Maybe that print belonged to whoever took the meteorite. But how could he figure out whose print it was? He could compare it to the ones in his book. But his book only had his friend's prints. None of them would have taken the meteorite. <sighs> it was Professor Wiseman's fingerprint on the glass. Why would she have taken George's meteorite? Ah! Only one way to find out. It was supposed to be a surprise. You discovered the meteorite in the desert. We thought you deserved the credit. <laughs> when the space exhibit opened, George's meteorite was a big hit. The exhibit was unique, just like George. And his fingerprint.
Thank you.